Woods, uh, Steve Morris. Uh, this is an engine that we have built for uh, the Lawrences. It was a father-son combination. And um, the, what they did is they brought us uh, some, some engine parts that they had, which included um, some older stuff that we weren't quite sure that we could use, um, but actually it turned out real well. Um, cylinder heads we knew we could use. They're actually a uh, uh, old version of the uh, Pontiac uh, 867 high port head, uh, small block, you know, 23 degree stuff. Um, I have on it right now. Uh, his new valve covers aren't here, so I actually had a set of my old valve covers uh, around, and so we just put those on here for uh, for our testing. Um, this is 408 cubic inches. F2. Uh, the F2 is stock. We haven't done any of our Pro Volute mods uh, and running it with the filter, uh, just like what they're going to do in, in the car. Primarily built for street uh, street strip application, so it's not a full race motor. Um, clearly, blow through carburetor, uh, 4150 uh, series carburetor, and our Pro Series hat. Uh, they had a Holly Dominator intake, or Holly, I can't remember what they call this one, Holly intake manifold. Um, don't normally use, but that actually is not that bad a manifold. Uh, this gun is actually running pretty well. Um, like I said, the heads are pretty good, uh, pretty decent piece. We basically ended up putting a short block under a top half that they had. And um, so our normal package with uh, our custom solid roller camshaft, uh, you know, of course we did the uh, belt drive and um, uh, it, this has a big block post crankshaft in it um, versus a small block post, so it just makes it more durable. Um, our piston and rod package, of course, uh, uh, with our hard anodized and our ring pack and dish design uh, for what we like to set these things up for. This is running on pump gas, 93 octane, and has a race gas tune. Uh, this is the race gas pulley combo here. Um, and what we've done is we, we set this up with the two tunes, and this one in particular takes um, um, you know, different timing, clearly, and a different jet combination, too, for the pump gas. And uh, a lot of times the pump gas, uh, the fuel, uh, Usually doesn't require a change in between the, the two fuels, but this one is a little little pickier um, and did uh, air to air intercool. You see that down there with uh, one of our uh, custom air to air intercoolers also. So uh, what we'll do is we will go out and uh, make a pull, and we'll look at all the numbers for this thing. away from the screen here. I don't want it to be too big. Anyways, uh, good run piece. Now I'll go back and I'll show you the pump gas tune <clears throat> also that we did earlier on it. Um, and we kind of built this for primarily for the pump gas uh, tune and street driving. And so the race gas tune up was actually kind of a uh, afterthought and so just to throw a little more boost at it. Um, Real good piece up here. You can see it just starts to roll over here at 7200, just kind of flattens out, uh, which is all fine and good. Uh, we can see that it makes a peak horsepower of 1510 and a peak torque of 1092. Uh, our curve over here is, uh, uh, let's see, get it a little bit bigger for you there. Uh, real nice looking, uh, good flat torque curve up through here too. I mean that, that looks real nice. Um, down in this lower RPM range, you know, 900 foot-pounds of torque. Um, you know, 6,000 RPMs, 1,000, uh, 1147, uh, 7,000 RPM, 1088, uh, 1445. And uh, 
like I said, right, right up through here, it just starts to roll over at 1510, 1510 at 74 and 7500 RPM. Uh, really nice right through there. Now let me uh, bring up, uh, we'll just graph out uh, the uh, pump gas tune. Let me get the right one up here for you. Right here. So this is the lower boost pump gas tune. The blue line is the uh, race gas tune where it just made uh, 1510. And uh, the pump gas tune, straight uh, 93 octane fuel. Uh, we have the tune up for uh, Lawrence's there. And uh, uh, that made 1302 right here. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, let me get the, get the line on there back better. Sorry about that. Um, you can kind of see, nice looking graph. They still bold. The, third, the pump gas tune, uh, because it's a lower boost, and that's where he kind of designed it, is still actually just starting to climb up a little bit there, which is fine. Uh, made his peak horsepower there at 7,600 RPM, uh, whereas we just started laying over up here. Uh, most likely, it's actually due to the camshaft design for what we did with this particular motor, being a little more street strip oriented than just the full race only deal. Um, boost wise, on the uh, this tune, let's see, that's our 02. Uh, boost wise on our race gas tune at 7600, it was. Uh, Oh, no, actually, on, on this uh, this graph, it actually shows 1526 right there, because um, it actually recorded 100 RPM higher, so it must have come back just a little bit. But anyways, you see that we have uh, 24 pounds of boost, uh, 1526, 1510. Um, started out at nine pounds of boost, all the way down at uh, 4900 RPM. Now, if we go back and we look at our pump gas tune. The pump gas tune made, uh, let's see here. Yep, a pump gas tune at 7,400 was uh, 16 pounds of boost. That's right here, that number. Um, that's our, our run there on the pump gas. So it started out at six pounds, went to 16 pounds on straight pump gas. So uh, anyways, everything looks real good here. Uh, happy for uh, the Lawrences, and I uh, think everything's looking real good. And uh, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.